Linux comes with a lot of fonts, but sometimes you just want to add some extra fonts to spice up whatever you're doing. YouTube thumbnails in my case. And I'm going to show you guys how to add more fonts to your Linux system. This is the same way that you would do it for any distro. So in Linux, fonts can be stored in a few different places. They can be in user share fonts or user local share fonts. Any fonts st stored in those folders will be available system-wide. So you can use them as your current user, you can use them as root, or you can use any other user account that you may have on your system. You can also create a hidden fonts folder that is directly in your user's home folder if you only want those fonts to be accessible by that specific user. So let's take a look at some fonts that are already in my system. You can see this Roman SD.TTF. So that's a font that I just added recently. But I can go into this folder here, True Type and Liberation. And you'll see the well known Liberation uh, font. These are all the different files for it here. So in Linux, fonts are essentially just a .ttf file. So to add more fonts, we just need to get more .ttf files. And a good place to do that is dafont.com. They have a whole bunch of different fonts that are available here. And you can also sort them in different ways. So the fonts that I want are obviously going to be GPL fonts or fonts that are 100% free because there are certain fonts that are paid or they're only available to be used for personal use. So I guess you couldn't like, I don't know, put this font on a t-shirt and sell it or whatever. But these 100% free fonts, they're basically Libre fonts, so you can use them in whatever way that you want. So you just want to download a bunch of these and they're all going to come as zip files. So I've already downloaded all of the different fonts that I want to use. I just have them inside of uh, this, I think it's this folder here. Yep, I have them inside of here. So all of these zip files, you may be thinking, man, it's going to take a long time to just unzip all of those. But if you remember the wild cards from the bash videos, we can just use one of those to unzip them all. Now, it's not quite as straightforward as it might seem. Like you can't just unzip star.zip because you're going to get this error that the file name is not matched. But the way that you get around that is you just have to put the uh, star.zip inside of single quotes. So if I do that, now it's going to unzip it. And you're going to get this warning. Um, do you want to replace? Uh, this is actually talking about the PDF. But inside of these zip files, there's some additional stuff like there's um, readmes and things like that. Let me actually see if I can open one with an archive manager to show you. Um, okay, so like if you see this one here, there's like a license.txt and some of the fonts have a readme.txt, um, but the actual font files themselves are going to be unique. So I'm just gonna hit A on this because I don't really care about these particular files that they're talking about. So now, if I do an LS, you see there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Let me show you in the GUI file manager as well. These are all the different uh, TTF files. And of course there's like OTF that we don't really need. There's uh, TXTs, there's some PNGs out there. A bunch of junk file types that we don't actually want to be storing in uh, this folder here. Let me actually go back into the proper directory. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to move star.ttf, which again, we're using the wildcard to just identify all of these TTF files, and we're gonna move it to user share fonts. And uh, oh yeah, make sure that you do it as sudo, because if you're putting it in your system folder, that's, well, a system folder, so you gotta be root in order to do it. So we'll do it as root, and now everything was able to be moved. 
and we can confirm that over here in this folder. Now there's one last step that we have to do in order to actually get access to these fonts. And that final step is to clear and regenerate your font cache with this command here, FC cache, and then the F and V switches. So let's go ahead and run that. Um, this can take a little while to run. It usually takes about a minute or two on my system. Um, I think it's more to do with um, maybe how many fonts you're trying to load at once. So I can barely see because my terminal is cut off, but it says that FC catch succeeded if I scroll up a little bit. So now we can open up a program to actually use these fonts like GIMP. And let me just pretend like I'm making a thumbnail here. Well, I guess I have to make a thumbnail for this video anyway. So just go ahead into my font selection and let me select one of the new ones that I put in. I think I just saw one for a brief second. Oh yeah, here we go, Super Mario 256. So this is one of the fonts that I just downloaded and That way you can see all the different letters there. All right, so this is how you install fonts in Linux. No need to use fancy programs or anything like that. All you really need is the terminal and a couple of clever bash commands. Leave a like on this video, comments down below if you got any questions. Peace out.